Good morning, friends. Good to see you this Monday morning. I hope that you have had a very powerful weekend. I hope that uh, you had a chance to uh, attend church, whether you were on campus or online. And I pray that uh, you also had that opportunity to uh, get some rest this weekend as well. Uh, I have uh, taken an opportunity just to, uh, to run uh, here to the house this morning. I've got some things that uh, really, really needed to get taken care of today. And so uh, uh, here I am, I wanted to, uh, to get this done. Uh, we're going to be, uh, we're going to go ahead and read this morning. We're going to be in John chapter 21. We're going to uh, pick up our reading. Uh, I've got that opportunity today. So I want to uh, uh, encourage you to get your Bibles and get on over there to uh, John chapter 21. And uh, that is where we're going to be. And I am hitting a couple clicks here and then I will be ready to go. How was everybody's, how was everybody's weekend? Hmm? How was everybody's weekend? Did everybody have a good weekend? Uh, good to see everybody getting on. When you do get in, please uh, do me the favor and that is to uh, go ahead and say hello. Let me know uh, who all and what all is, uh, is here and uh, maybe where you're watching from. I'd love to see you, love to say hello. Uh, it has been a while. Uh, as you know, uh, my, my bride is still uh, in the hospital, and uh, as of this morning, she is, uh, she is still in ICU, but uh, we, have, uh, uh, we, we feel like we have taken some, some pretty great strides, and uh, there is definitely some improvement, which is all, all praise and glory to God. Um, we found out last night, for those of you who have not heard, that uh, Denise does not have to have surgery on her lung, and that is a huge, huge praise. We are, are so very thankful for that, um, but we're still not out of the woods. Uh, she still has a chest tube in that keeps everything drained off, and so we're hoping today that uh, we will find out a determination as to uh, the status of that chest tube, there is a possibility that even today, uh, good morning, everybody. Uh, there is a chance that even today that, uh, uh, the chest tube could come out. And so, you know, we're, we're praying, you know, that's, that's where we're going, but, uh, the lung has still got uh, a lot of work to do. It is still, you know, fairly collapsed. And so we've got to work now that uh, the fluid is off to get the lung reinflated and to, uh, address the, uh, the infection from the pneumonia that is inside that lung. And so that's kind of where we are. The, uh, the, the doctors are extremely optimistic. Her heart doctor has already dismissed her. Uh, and so that's huge. We got her out of AFib and she stayed out of AFib all on her own. There was no problems there. So, uh, we, we praise the Lord for that. And so uh, the lung doctor is very, very pleased with uh, what has gone on, how it's progressing, and he seems extremely optimistic. Again, thinking today there is that uh, that probability that uh, the chest tube may come out. So uh, we're we're definitely wanting to to see that, and then they will monitor her for several days after that to uh, make sure the infection is still being uh, addressed and that the, the fluid is not rebuilding up. Um, we did have another praise this morning for the second day in her in a row, second morning in a row. Now her blood sugar has been down, and uh, we are very thankful for that. They're checking her blood sugar uh, periodically throughout the day, and uh, each time, depending upon uh, what the uh, uh, the blood sugar reading is, determines if or not she gets insulin and how much. And so uh, this morning, actually for again the past two mornings, she has not had to. Uh, she has not had to have insulin, and so we're we're very very thankful for that. Um, but uh, she's uh, she's still a pretty sick girl. Um, the physical therapist came in yesterday, and she was able to take a couple of steps uh, to uh, uh, start, you know, getting her strength back. She yesterday was the first time that she's actually walked in uh, in, uh, in nine days, and so that was huge. Uh, you know, to get her get her up, get her standing up, and to let her let her walk a little bit. So that's uh, that is huge. Um, uh, as I said earlier, I had to, uh, uh, I had to come in this morning. I've got a couple of things I have to get done here at the house and then, uh, uh you know, grab a quick shower and uh, change the clothes. And then I'll be headed right back to the hospital after a while and, uh, going to be staying with her again. I, I pray that you guys had good church yesterday. I've not had a chance to watch everything. Uh, I do pray that you did have a good time either on campus or online. I'd love to hear how, how services went and, uh, uh, please feel free to tell me and let me know if you were on campus or if you were online. 
uh, if you'll please do that. And I want to say thank you again to everyone who played a, a major part uh, yesterday in the service. Um, you know, making sure things get done. It's uh, it's overwhelmingly appreciated by your pastor, um, and and also for everything that went on last week, all the broadcasts and stuff. As we kind of got the kinks worked out, I'm very very thankful for that. Um, so you just you just keep on keeping on. Okay, uh, I'm not real sure what my week is going to look like at this point. Um, definitely going to take care of my bride. And uh, I will do my best to be on as much as possible now that she is uh, doing better. But, uh, you know, as long as she's still in the unit, there's still some, uh, some criticalness. And so uh, we're, we're going to definitely, um, uh, you know, make sure that we watch that and that uh, we, we take good care of that. I will say this, and I, I have to say this loud, the care that she has gotten at NEA Baptist Hospital is absolutely Phenomenal. I, I can't. I can't use another word. It is beyond ridiculously good. They have treated her like a queen, and uh, I'm so humbled by that. I'm so thankful for the, for that, and I, and I just can't praise that entire staff uh, enough. They are just absolutely amazing, and uh, that always um, makes the hospital stay a little bit better. But uh, that is kind of where uh, where Denise is. Uh, uh, once again, I'll be doing my best to sneak in it from time to time. I'm not real sure. Um, oh, good. Services were great. That's good. I see two of y'all. Thank you. Thank you very much. I, I'm thankful that uh, uh, Blake was free to be able to come back yesterday. Um, uh, Blake is a dear friend of mine, a dear friend of ours. Actually, his family and ours are very close. And uh, I, I love that young man to death. And uh, I, I knew you guys were going to be in good hands with Blake in the pulpit. There was no doubt in my mind about that. So, uh, And I thank you for loving on Blake and for taking care of him. Okay, we're going to be in John chapter 21 today. We are winding down. We are winding down uh, the, the, the gospel of John. Oh, and by the way, while you're on right now, go ahead and hit that share button. Okay, we got a chance to to get the gospel out this morning. And so go ahead and hit the share button and uh, let's uh, let's see uh, how far we can get this out this morning as we continue reading. Uh, we're going to end the, the gospel of John this week and then we are going to start a new book. Uh, I believe it's Thursday is when it's scheduled to start. I'm not 100% sure, but uh, uh, I will do my best to tell you more tomorrow as to where we're going to go. I'll let you be thinking about it. Uh, as to uh, where we're going, okay? We talked about this uh, a couple of weeks ago about some choices and some thoughts. And so uh, uh, I, I was just very anxious to uh, really uh, dive into another book. And so I'm, uh, I'm, I'm anxious to uh, see how God speaks to us uh, in the mornings as we continue to read his word. Okay, John chapter 21, and we're gonna pick up at verse number one. Y'all with me? Here we go, 21 verse one. After these things, Jesus showed himself again to the disciples at the Sea of Tiberias, and in this way, he showed himself. Simon Peter, Thomas called the twin, Nathaniel of Cana in Galilee, the sons of Zebedee, and two others of his disciples were together. Simon Peter said to them, I'm going fishing. And they said to him, we're going with you also. They went out and immediately got into the boat, and that night they caught nothing. But when the morning had now come, Jesus stood on the shore, yet the disciples did not know that it was Jesus. And then Jesus said to them, Children, have you any food? And they answered to him, No. And he said to them, Cast the net on the right side of the boat, and you will find some. So they cast, and now they were not able to draw it in because of the multitude of fish. Therefore, that disciple whom Jesus loved, we know that's John, the, the writer of this book. He said to Peter, it is the Lord. And now when Simon Peter heard that it was the Lord, he put on his outer garment for he had removed it and he plunged into the sea. But the other disciples came in the little boat for they were not far from land, but about 200 cubits dragging the net with fish. Then as soon as they had come to land, they saw a fire of coals there and fish laid on it and bread. Jesus said to them, bring some of the fish which you have just caught. Simon Peter went up and dragged the net to land full of large fish, 153. And although there were so many, the net was not broken. And Jesus said to them, come and eat breakfast. Yet none of the disciples dared ask him, who are you? Because they knew, the scripture says, knowing 
that it was the Lord. Jesus then came and took the bread and gave it to them, and likewise the fish. This is now the third time Jesus showed himself to his disciples after he was raised from the dead. There's so much. There's absolutely so much in these 14 verses of scripture. Another encounter with Jesus after the, the resurrection with his disciples, this time very intimate, out on, uh, you know, out on the sea as they're, they're fishing. Uh, I want to leave you with this question, and that's uh, in verse 7. So if you're following me, we're going to be in verse number 7. It says, Therefore that disciple whom Jesus loved, again John, therefore John said to Peter, It's the Lord. And when Simon Peter heard that it was the Lord, he put on his outer garment. He was working, so he basically took off the robe. He put on his outer garment, for he had removed it, and he plunged into the sea. Why? Why do you think John went into the sea? I'm going to let you think that through. I'm going to let you pray through that and uh, do some studying as you possibly reread and pray through our scriptures today and allow God to speak to you. I hope that you have a phenomenal, phenomenal Monday. Uh, I'm going to be back at the hospital here uh, sometime after lunch. I'll get, get back down there and uh, we'll be staying with Miss Denise. Uh, if you have called or text and I have not returned your messages or your phone calls, please forgive me because I, I'm just so tied up and uh, know that you are acknowledged and uh, it is grateful and so appreciated and loved uh, for those of you who have reached out to us. Uh, if you guys need anything, please call the church office uh, as I am in contact with Gloria as much as I can. And uh, Lord willing, I'm looking to kind of get back in some kind of a regular routine this week. I'm not real sure what that looks like, but at least that is my plan as of today. Uh, and then we're just going to see. But keep praying for Nisi. Uh, keep praying that God is going to continue to heal her because I promise you this is all done by the hand of God. Leave no doubt. It is the hand of God working through a tremendous staff. And we are very, very grateful for everything that he has done. We're so humbled by just watching it done. And, and guys, I'm just also going to tell you, there's some sick folks in that hospital. Uh, last night, the ICU unit was almost 100% at capacity. And there's a lot of sick people there. Uh, the, the virus is there. Uh, and it, it, it's bad. It, it's, it's bad. I, I, I've been able to see you know, what this thing is doing. And uh, uh, you, you, you see the, the weariness on the, the face of the staff because they deal with it on a daily basis. And so uh, uh, pray, for, pray for the staff, our first responders, all the doctors and nurses, you know, across the globe as they are dealing with this. And, and pray that God would just continue to remove this God-awful virus from this planet, okay? Because it's, it's horrendous, it's, it's bad, it is not a hoax. Please understand this is not a hoax, okay? This is, this is for real. Um, I, I'm not scared of it, but I sure respect it. And, uh, and, I, and I want you to understand that. And when anybody starts to tell you that it's a hoax, now we gotta put that, put that baby to bed, because it's not, it's, it's, a, it's a for real deal. Uh, so keep praying, keep praying for Nisi, that uh, she'll continue to get her strength back and that uh, uh, we'll get that chest tube out and uh, hopefully we will be able to get her to the house before long and uh again just just keep praying for her. and if there's anything you need lord willing uh you know call the call the office uh if you reach out to me and i don't get back with you please forgive me i will do my best but uh, i can't promise a whole lot but uh, i will definitely do my best know that you are loved know that you're appreciated and know that you're missed we do miss you guys can't wait to get back and see you again in the meantime i'm out of here i'll talk to you soon Bye bye